welcome everybody to our call tonight. It's a special night for our team because uh, we got some really awesome things going on. Uh, as a team that's going to help us all to uh, grow our teams even more. And uh, for those of you that are guests and seeing this first time, we really appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule uh, to be with us tonight. Um, I tell you, it's a, it's a situation over the last uh, 10 months, uh, what I've been able to learn about this uh, company and program product uh, combined, it's, uh, it's literally uh, changed my life. But more important to me is uh, friends, family, uh, the way their lives are being changed because of this unbelievable program. And so we want to take a little bit of time to help you understand what it's about and so that uh, you too hopefully will be able to see uh, the great value uh, that we have in the crazy world we're living in right now, uh, that there is uh, something that's really helpful and good that's helping a lot of people. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and get started. I don't know how we ended up there. I'm going to have to do this over again here. Let's, let me stop and reboot here. Sorry about that. Technical difficulties. And go back up here. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Got to get my screen lined up. That's what's got me messed up here. Okay, let me give another shot at this thing here. Alright. Slight adjustment here to get everybody lined up. There we go. Alright, name of our company is called Love Biome, the microbiome company. Uh, you're going to see uh, Go Love Life is the name you're going to see a lot tonight. Uh, that's the original name of our company when we launched February 2nd of this year. Uh, but there was a company that had a similar name that they were doing TV advertising, things like that. And it confused some people. They, when we had a lot of people going, oh yeah, we saw your commercial on TV. And we didn't have a commercial on TV. So to eliminate the confusion, uh, we changed in our name of our company to the Love Biome, the microbiome company. And that uh, will be a, the official name of the company here in just a week or so on December 1st. Uh, but I just wanted to explain to you because you're going to see both of them a little bit throughout the presentation until we get uh, that one name in place. And I personally like Love Biome better because it's a little bit more explicative of what we do. We're about the, the gut microbiome. And so I uh, wanted to go ahead and let you know that so it didn't confuse you as we go through the process. I want to tell you why uh, all of us are so excited about this opportunity and uh, what's happening um, with this product that's helping so many people with their lives. And it's these three guys. I personally have known these three guys for over 20 years, had the privilege of working with them in another company. And uh, when they put together the Love Biome Company, formerly uh, known as Go Love Life, uh, it's a situation I, I just trusted them so much because of the backgrounds that they have and how many years I've already spent with them and that they were always honest. They were always upfront and honest. And uh, that's hard to find in any company, is it not? And so we uh, very, very excited when these uh, gentlemen called me and said, hey, we're launching a, a new company, a new product. And it's, it's, they couldn't even believe how remarkable this product was and how much it helped. And they did a, spent a lot of time, a lot of years of putting this thing together to make sure that it would do uh, what they said it would do and the results of what's happened with this company we're now in over 30 countries and uh, I don't care what kind of slick presentation you have you're not going to take a company uh, out to the masses in 30 countries in 10 months unless it does what they say it'll do and I, they were even impressed 
as to how much more the product that they have is helping people beyond what they even knew about as they did the research and put it together. Now, these three guys worked with these five people. They were also in a prior company together. And uh, together, uh, all eight of them have over 20 years. <clears throat> so what we're going to be talking to you about tonight is called the gut microbiome. And it really is, um, it's becoming a phenomenon. And uh, I think it's really important for everybody to learn what it's really all about. And because the pieces of the puzzle, I think, will come better uh, together for you better. Uh, you know, when you start off with a puzzle, you see a couple pieces, you don't have a clue what the total picture is. <clears throat> Excuse me. But when you we put the, these pieces together for you, I think it'll you'll really understand the whole picture better. So this is next I'm going to show you is actually a segment. Uh, from the Today Show. Uh, this was a doctor that was on there. I happened to be watching it. This was right after we the company was first launched, early February, maybe early March. <clears throat> and I, I couldn't believe here's a doctor uh, pushing her book on the Today Show all about the gut microbiome. So here, I think you'll enjoy what the, they had to say. Time for a gut check, and by that we mean literally mm -hmm. what is in your gut. It affects everything from your mood to your immunity to your metabolism. Dr. Roshni Raj is a gastroenterologist and author of a new book. It's called Gut Renovation, Unlock the Age-Defying Power of the Microbe to Remodel Your Health from the Inside Out. Dr. Raj, I think the gut is something that doesn't get enough attention, and it does affect every part of your body. Every single part from head to toe, and that's why I wrote this book, because I've always been fascinated by our microbiome that can yeah community of bacteria and organisms that affect everything from head to toe. But there's been an explosion in the last few years on the research on really what are the mechanisms behind it. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the last couple of years during a pandemic, yes. all the good habits went by the wayside. But how can we tell if something's yeah. going on there? Well, you know, you're going to start potentially with some digestive symptoms, right? So bloating or irregularity in the bathroom. But actually, it might be things you might not think about, like brain fog or just feeling tired and listless, not having energy or just a low mood. Mm -hmm. Because like I said, the gut can affect everything from your brain to your energy to your muscles, all of it. I'm so happy to be You here. can catch uh, Dr. Raj's book, Gut Renovation, at today.com slash shop. And I bought that book. I own that book. And it's amazing the different things that are there. I, I actually, when I first saw this, I was just learning about this gut microbiome thing. And because she made that statement from head to toe to bottom of her feet, uh, I Googled dandruff and the gut microbiome. And yeah, there's information there that how your gut microbiome affects if you have dandruff. And then I said, well, what's, what do you mean from the head tip of your head to bottom of your feet? Well, I, so I Googled uh, um, toenail fungus and the gut microbiome. And when you get a chance after this presentation, maybe tonight, spend a little time on doing research on the different things the gut microbiome affects, you'll be blown away. But now here's one, a very um, prominent heart surgeon. He started off as a heart surgeon. Now he's focused just on the gut microbiome. But listen to what he had to say about it. It, it, it really is mind-boggling. Here are two kinds of nuts. So, what's the difference? On one hand, pistachios are bursting with fiber and minerals and are fantastic for supporting healthy digestion. Almonds also have healthy fats and vitamins. But unlike pistachios, they have a dangerous compound hiding inside them that can cancel out those benefits. See, almonds contain an anti-nutrient called lectins. Just like gluten, lectins can seriously mess up digestion and your absorption of critical nutrients. I know that there's something wrong. They're eating healthier than ever, and yet they're sicker than ever. And do you think it's stoppable from diet? Yes. Really? Yes. Specifically, my research showed that many of the conditions I was treating, weight gain, poor circulation, deteriorating health, heart issues, even mental decline, they were all starting in a place nobody was talking about, the gut. My first hint that our intestinal tracts were far more important than people thought actually came when I was performing heart surgery back in the 1980s. Back then, I used to see a lot of people with plaque blockages in their arteries from years of smoking cigarettes. But usually, when we were bypassing the blockage, the rest of a smoker's arteries were perfectly clean. But as the years went by, I started seeing fewer smokers and more people with diabetes, high insulin levels, and obesity, which, as you may know, are all correlated with poor gut health. When we performed heart surgery on these people, it was far worse than the smokers' arteries. 
their arteries were riddled with plaque blockages. We could barely find a blood vessel that was healthy. The surgeries, while successful, became far more difficult. I couldn't believe it. Literally, people who had smoked cigarettes every day of their lives had healthier hearts than people who were suffering from conditions associated with an unhealthy GI tract. So I began dedicating all of my research to learning everything I could about intestinal health. We all knew that poor intestinal health could lead to digestive discomfort, constipation, irritable bowels, and heartburn. But how could a malfunctioning gut lead to problems with your skin, your weight, your energy, your joints, your heart, and even your brain? Back then, nobody was asking the question. But today, thanks to years of research, we finally have the answer. You see, our GI tracts are very long. In fact, if you stretch your intestines out, they'd have more surface area than an entire tennis court. But they're also very thin. The lining of your intestines is actually just one cell thick, which is basically the thinnest thing that you can imagine. The gut walls need to be this thin because they act like high-tech sponges, sucking up all the nutrients and vitamins from the food you eat and sending the good stuff throughout your body. What's left over becomes food for your gut bacteria, which we refer to as your microbiome. They grow and make more bacteria. And what you deposit in the toilet as poop is, well, mostly loads of living and dead bacteria. So in short, this is how your gut works. You eat food. Your intestinal walls absorb the good stuff from the food, and what's left over gets eaten by your microbiome, which you then get rid of when you go to the bathroom. And when your gut is healthy, these gut walls do their job great, turning food into energy and getting rid of the poop smoothly and cleanly, like a brand new drain pipe in your bathroom. But here's the problem. Because these gut walls are so thin, they can sometimes tear. And certain things are especially good at causing tears. The worst of these are called lectins. Lectins are sharp, nasty little proteins found in certain kinds of food. Lectins, think back to your bathroom now. Imagine you started flushing sharp nails down the toilet. Maybe you could flush one or two and be okay, but if you flushed handfuls of rusty nails for days or weeks, after a while they would scrape little holes in your pipes. Pretty soon, little bits of dirty water will start leaking out of the pipe into your walls, your floors, even your house's foundation. I know, this sounds pretty gross, but you need to hear it. Because unfortunately, our GI tracts can develop leaks in the exact same way. This is what I and a growing number of experts now refer to as leaky gut. Lectins and other bad guys tearing holes in your gut lining, allowing tiny particles of poop to leak out into your bloodstream. And once this happens, you can start to see why leaky gut can cause so many health problems. Once they get into your bloodstream, these dirty particles storm across your entire body, like an invading horde. If these toxins get into your joints, they can cause aches and pain. If they get into your skin, they can cause itchiness, redness, acne, and rashes. If they get into your upper GI tract, they can cause heartburn and indigestion. And do you know the worst part? To your brain, all of these terrible things are perceived as attacks on your body, the same as if you have a virus. So your brain goes on high alert to threat level red to stop these attacks, sending white blood cells to fix the problem, which it can do for a while. But your brain just can't stay on threat level red all day, every day. Pretty soon, the cells that protect your brain from attack start to wear down. And when these glial cells in your brain are strained too hard, they actually cause your brain cells to expire. I probably don't have to tell you what happens when your brain cells stop working. Headaches, brain fog, and losing your mental sharpness are just the first signs of damage. But if these toxins are left to rampage through your body for months or even years, the damage can be far, far worse. If the thought of these health issues keep you up at night, as they probably do, I know they used to me because I've had some health issues in the past couple of years and it is not only nice to learn uh, what was causing them, but more important to me is that there was something I could do about to get it changed. But I don't want you just to listen to this part to take a, uh, to help you realize the importance of the gut microbiome. Here's another video that's uh, just of various scientific experts. Uh, these are various types of uh, professors, scientists, and doctors. And uh, I've scrunched this down just kind of like a little montage of some of these people. But again, you could Google any of these names you see, write their names down, and later Google and you can watch their whole talk because I just got little segments here. But it, it's mind-boggling what the gut microbiome is really all about. Trillions of bacteria, viruses, and fungi live on or inside of us.
and maintaining a good, balanced relationship with them is to our advantage. Together, they form the gut microbiome, a rich ecosystem that performs a variety of functions in our bodies. The bacteria in our guts can break down food the body can't digest, produce important nutrients, regulate the immune system, and protect against harmful germs. How many of you guys know who Hippocrates is? Have you all heard of him? He's an awesome guy, right? 3,000 years ago, he said, all disease begins in the gut. And now that's an idea that time has come back. It's come around. And so as a clinician, I always look at gut health first, no matter what. If our guts aren't functioning, if our digestive system isn't functioning well, nothing else will. Well, I'm here to talk to you about what I think is the most important organ, and that is the gut microbiome. So for those of you who don't know what the gut microbiome is, it's everything from your mouth to your colon, from entry to exit, all the bits in between. So your stomach, your small intestine, your large intestine, and all of the little critters that live in there. So bacteria, fungi, viruses, and cells, there are trillions of these little critters that are living in there. And we'll talk about this a little bit more later, but diversity is so important in the gut. Microbes we acquire or do not acquire affect our likelihood of developing diseases like obesity, diabetes, and even some cancers. As our bodies have been adapting to life in modern society, we're losing some of our normal microbes. And at the same time, there are quite a few diseases related to the gut that are skyrocketing in developed nations all around the world. So why is it important to have a healthy gut? Well, it's really important for long-term health. So if you have a healthy gut, you're going to feel more energetic. You're going to get sick less often. You're going to have better mental clarity and ultimately have better emotional well-being. Versus if you don't have a healthy gut, a lot of research is showing that this is related to things like autoimmune conditions, diabetes, neurodegenerative disorders like Alzheimer's, and even emotional issues like anxiety and depression. Really, we are more, we are more microbial than we are human. So we have 10 times the amount of microbial cells than we have human cells. So that stands to reason that we are bacteria learning how to be human. It has been already shown in several studies that gut microbiota composition is associated to weight as well as the likelihood of developing diseases like diabetes or cardiovascular diseases. So what are some simple things that you can do to help improve your gut? Well, one, we've talked about changing your diet. In one recent microbiome study, scientists found that fruits, vegetables, tea, coffee, red wine, and dark chocolate were correlated with increased bacterial diversity. These foods contain polyphenols, which are naturally occurring antioxidant compounds. And then lastly, targeted supplementation. I'm not saying to take lots of different supplements. I'm saying if there's certain things that your body needs, you might actually take a supplement. So the next time that you're lying on the couch, feeling lethargic and not sure why, or you're sick for the fifth time in a year, listen to your gut. Pretty interesting, is it not? So you see a little bit about the problem. The problem is that our gut microbiomes are out of balance. And uh, I really appreciated what that one doctor said that, you know, people are more conscious today about eating correctly, but diseases are on the rise. Why? Well, it's because of the gut microbiome. So we know the problem. Now let's look at one thing solution. Go Love Life is the microbiome company. We are focused 100% on doing the one thing every day that will make you feel and look your best. And that one thing is caring for your microbiomes. A microbiome is a living environment that consists of bacteria, genes, DNA, genetic codes, viruses, enzymes, and so much more. Each microbiome is a whole world that can only be seen through the lenses of powerful microscopes. There are human microbiomes, environmental microbiomes, and even animal microbiomes. In humans, microbiomes exist in the gut, on the skin, and in hair, among other places. 
So much is being discovered about microbiomes every single day, but this much we know for sure. The key to feeling good and looking good is caring for your microbiomes. Because even though the bacteria, enzymes, and little organisms that make up our microbiomes are too small to be seen by the naked eye, they make a big difference. Take the gut, for example. The gut microbiome could be considered the center of good health in the human body. A healthy gut microbiome will lead to the healthy function of the immune system, cardiovascular system, nervous system, digestive system, muscular system, and more. There are lots of ways to care for the gut microbiome so it can care for you. First, introduce good bacteria into your gut with high quality probiotics and fermented foods. The good bacteria in these foods will help clean up your gut and get it in tip-top condition. Second, feed all that good bacteria with prebiotics. Prebiotics act as food for good bacteria and can be found in whole fruits and vegetables of varying colors. Finally, help your body get rid of all the gunk and junk in your gut microbiome with a healthy detox. In order to work properly, the gut microbiome should be free of nasty toxins. The Go Love Life Daily 3 system will help you get and maintain a healthy gut microbiome. With whole food ingredients, high quality fermented foods, and excellent probiotics, Next Balance, Next Detox, and Phytopower will help you introduce good bacteria into your microbiome, feed it with healthy prebiotics, and cleanse your body of harmful toxins. The Go Love Life Daily 3 system is the one thing you can do every day to ensure better health and a better life. Take care of your microbiome so it can take care of you. That's how you go love life. So it's a simple solution for sure, but I want to get, let you have an opportunity to take a little bit of a closer look at these three products that we call our Daily 3 system. Uh, the next balance, you can see the various uh, ingredients that are in here. They're all natural, uh, non-GMO. It's a, it's a situation where it's a complete vegan product. And, uh, but look at what you can expect to get from the benefits of Next Balance. The reason, by the way, that it's called Next is because the core fruit uh, that's used in these two liquid supplements is called noni. And uh, for those of you that may or may not have ever heard of noni, it, it actually, the uh, benefits of noni juice uh, dates back into the Ayurvedic medical system, which is 4,000 years ago. And this fruit, um, when the people from Sri Lanka and that part of the world were migrating to the French Polynesian Islands, they always brought this fruit with them. And so for many centuries, it was called the canoe fruit because that's where it came from. But the documentation now on noni fruit, it, it's just, it's very, very well, well documented. We know what it does and what it doesn't do. And it's a situation where that as the core ingredient is the reason we called it next because it's noni the next generation of it because as you'll learn as you learn more about the product all the reasons and he talked about it a little bit in the fermentation when he talked about the video the next is next detox again this is what you can expect uh is it a situation where maybe you uh would like to have uh you're making sure that your liver kidneys uh, heart health and circulation your immune system was all better well the next detox helps with all that and then the, uh, the back daddy of the program, if you will, is Phytopower. Because this is where you have the enzymes that you need, all the beneficial um, <clears throat> things that are come from these various fruits and vegetables, that the amino acids, all the amino acids that are beneficial to a human body are in this product. 
And this is your prebiotics that are in here. Because remember, there's all kinds of people that take post uh, probiotics. The problem is when you get those bacteria in you, if they don't have something to eat, they die. So they can't do their job. And these are all prebiotic um, things. And there's four color blends. And it's the color of the food that makes this uh, such a fantastic product. <clears throat> so all in all, there's 96 carefully chosen, globally sourced, pure and organic ingredients that make this daily three system. Oh, so you have three products? No, it's one program. It consists of two liquid supplements and a powder. We call it two sips and a scoop, and you're done for the day. One thing you can do for yourself every day. <clears throat> then the um, daily three system, a lot of people want to know, well, you know, what is the cost on this? Uh, my personal belief is uh, the cost is don't use it and cost yourself in health. You might notice the little thing I got here the same because that's the truth of the matter. If you don't take the time for your wellness, uh, you're going to take the time. You're going to be forced later to take care of your illness. And I know because that's happened to me. <clears throat> so that's $185 if you want to pay retail. If you do like me and you want to get it at a, at a wholesale price for $155, that's called a subscription. That's where you tell the company you're willing to let them charge your card monthly and automatically send it to you. You don't have to worry about missing out on it. That's the best way to get the best price. And unlike other subscriptions, uh, when I usually hear this, that I don't like the idea, you know, especially if it comes to a TV program or um, a weight loss program or a um, gym or something like that, because you can't get them to stop it. It takes like an act of Congress. I actually, my wife was a, with a gym here in town uh, that supposedly canceled any time. Well, I had to contact the Attorney General of Kentucky to get them to stop it. You don't have to worry about that with this company. Uh, they have a toll-free number that you could call, and they'll stop this subscription for you. Or there's actually a web on your own website that the company gives you. In the back, you just click on one button, done. You don't have to talk to anybody. You don't have to tell reasons. You don't have to go through all the junk. <clears throat> Look, if you, uh, for whatever reason, decide it's not helping you, actually, in the first 30 days, they'll even give you a money-back guarantee. So it's pretty, pretty solid. That's all we got for you tonight. Um, for any ad additional information you'd like to have on the product um, or the, the business opportunity, it's how with any portion of it, just get back with the person that invited you. We want to thank you all for coming. What we're going to do is uh, take a couple of minutes. If anybody would like to stay, they're more than welcome to stay and uh, hear a little bit about uh, some of the results some of us have gotten using this product. And uh, because it's pretty amazing, this uh, back in March, <clears throat> several of us were um, had the privilege of going down to Orlando, Florida. They had a meeting going on down there, and uh, we went down there and was learning about the product. And by then, several of us have been using the product for over a month. And uh, just listen to some of the results some of these people are getting. It's it, it's pretty it's pretty crazy. about the microbiome, your gut. Although I knew about gut health, it just sealed within me the importance of gut health and why we have to have a healthy gut to maintain our daily lives. I found out what is the importance of it all, the importance of it all with that gut microbiome. And learning about the gut microbiome, now I know the gut does affect a lot of things, but knowing how much it affected the different aspects of my life was the eye-opener for me. I've always heard the term over the years, healthy gut, but I didn't really know what that was. Well, now I know that so many times over. About how the actual bad bacteria versus your good bacteria can actually cause damage. The energy part is what I love. My energy levels are up. I notice I don't need the amount of sleep that I used to need. I'm able to function pretty well at uh, six, seven hours a night. I have low energy during the day, so the fighter power itself gives me a boost. I take it midday, so when I take it midday in my smoothie, 
it keeps me going because I normally will fall asleep halfway through my work day. So now taking the fighter power gives me that boost to carry through my day. The actual balance gives me a lot of energy. It's where I want to cut grass and I shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> the products have given me an ease inside myself. My gut feels good. I don't have any bloating. I'm just happy because and, and my actually my whole being is happier. I'm going to tell you the most important thing is I feel more calm and relaxed. It's helped other things. I feel more calm, relaxed. I go about my duties during the day. I'm focused on them, more clear. And um, I, that's very, very important to me. The detox, it helps me at night, you know, to relax because I do stay up long hours, you know, waiting on a phone call from a team member or something. But it helps me to lay down and relax myself. I spoke to my barber and I'm actually Hair follicles that were dead are starting to regenerate, and so hair is starting to regrow. And I'm excited about that. I would tell them to Google whatever issue they have going on in their health. Just what I learned today. Just go in and Google gut microbiome and that issue. Whether it's Alzheimer's, diabetes, pain, whatever it is. That's what I would recommend they do because then they're going to come back to me and want the product. Don't hesitate. Take the test of products. Become a product of the product. And once you do that, you'll want to share it with everyone you know and that you do. This is an opportunity to where you coming home and you don't have to leave. You don't have to worry about nobody knocking on your door saying, hey, you in the wrong business. No, I'm not. I'm at home now. When people ask me, well, what is it that you do? So, well, I'm fortunate enough to work with a company that imports 96 exotic fruits, vegetables, uh, herbs, and grains throughout the world. And it's a situation where these ingredients are all designed and harvested from all over the world to help with your gut. If you have any aspects of your life that's affected mentally, physically, spiritually, you, if you look at um, going through your day, something's wrong. Look to your gut and see how your stomach feels in the middle of the day, in the morning, in the evening. Try the product for 30 days and see what's the difference between the first month and the second month. And you will definitely see that the difference and it connects. Little things in your life will change slowly and steadily, but it will change. Get off the fence and just do it. It's the one thing that can change your life. And go love life. That's what we're doing. We're going and we're loving our life. And that's the end of that. <laughs>
November of 2021. So it was before I even heard about uh, Go Love Life. But I was in for a normal routine checkup, and they did my blood work. <clears throat> and this is an enzyme that's in my liver. See what it's supposed to be? 12 to 64. Mine was 1379. Uh, the doctor actually had me scared, but look, it wasn't just that one. Look at these other enzymes, liver, bone, all, all of them out of whack. And uh, it, was, uh, it was a little scary. Well, then, um, actually, the last day of January is when I came home with Goal of Life. Uh, the company started February 2nd of uh, 2022. <clears throat> so we're just, you know, just hitting 10 months old. And here's the other medicines that I was on from the, at the doctor. So I was on metformin twice a day, Carvedilol, which is a blood pressure medicine, Asinopro, which is a blood pressure medicine, the hydrochlorazide is also a blood pressure medicine. Prosugarel is, uh, I now have seven stents in my body. I uh, actually died. The whole reason I had to go back to the doctor in November is because I fell over dead at the Louisville airport on April 6th of 2021, and I was dead for six minutes. So the whole reason that all that's where all these medications come from, I had a lot of blockage, 100 percent in two arteries, and they um, now I now have seven stents, and so that prosugarol is designed to not allow my blood to clot because they're worried about them clotting in those stents, and then the atorvastatin, uh, that is a, a cholesterol uh, medicine. Then in addition to that, I am an insulin dependent diabetic. I was uh, taking uh, 80 units a day, two different types of uh, insulin, one fast acting and one for at night that was slow acting. <clears throat> and then uh, it all changed for me uh, when I started on the Go Love Life Daily 3 system. And just so you know, I take all three at one time. I'm not real good at remembering which one did I take when. So I just put all three of them together. My wife puts them in a little Tupperware thing and we shake it up. And drink it down I'm done I don't have to worry about remembering anything but now look what happened when I went back to the doctor in May so uh, this was uh, just over one year so April 6 21 is when I died and this is May 2nd of 22 <clears throat> so I'm going back and what had happened is I ended up in the emergency room because my blood sugar dropped so low and what happened is I wasn't checking, I wasn't doing what everybody always tells you to do. Make sure you do this in conjunction with your doctor so they can monitor what's going on. I didn't do that. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm a guy and unfortunately most of us guys, um, you know, we, uh, we don't listen real well. And uh, as my wife, she'll tell you. And it's a situation where uh, my blood sugar dropped so low, I'm shooting insulin every day like I've been doing for 15 years. Why would it be any different, right? Well, my gut microbiome was balancing, so I didn't need all that. And so my blood sugar one day was down to 34. You can die at 40. And it was down to 34. And uh, thank goodness I was at a place where a lady there knew a little bit about health and called 911. But look what happened to my uh, glucose levels just straight down. I mean, absolutely unbelievable to me. This was a note directly from the doctor's office uh, where they said my labs are good, my liver enzyme was completely back to normal. And that's solely because of goal of life. I really didn't do anything different. Um, they Now on the Lipitor, I'm not on that anymore at all. They reduced it back here, went from 40 to 20. And then the, high, uh, the hydroglycoside, they stopped that completely. <clears throat> they cut my um, uh, the average statin down. Uh, now I was at 80. Uh, now that's at 20. Uh, and I only have the Carvedilol was uh, that was six point something I took twice a day. Now it's uh, the minimum, which is 3.125. Lisinopril, <clears throat> I'm not on that any longer at all. Um, so I went from five. I'm on three now. And the biggest thing to me is uh, I'm a lot better at checking my blood pressure and my blood sugar. I did learn that lesson. And uh, now uh, the maximum amount of uh, insulin I have to take is uh, about 8 to 12 units. Big change from 80. And matter of fact, that's what would happen as I was shooting the insulin the way I always did, but I didn't need any more. So if some of you on tonight with us don't have diabetes and you shoot 20 units of insulin, it's going to kill you. Um, same thing with blood pressure medicine. If your blood pressure is normal, 
and you take blood pressure medicine, it, it, it could kill you. And so that's what all was going on with me. And uh, I wasn't monitoring myself the way I should have. <clears throat> of course, I'm a lot better at that now because something about dying don't sit well with me. And of course, um, my A1C, which is your uh, monthly score for your um, glucose levels, I'm down to 6.0 now. It's at 6.7 then because uh, I've been back to the doctor uh, one of the time because that was in May of 2022 and I think I went back in June. And <clears throat> so that's when all this stuff started getting ready. Really do appreciate you being on the call with us tonight. For additional information, just ask the person that directed this video and they'll be glad to help you. Thank you again.